So Sagittarius, how are you doing guys? So I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, no matter what happens in this reading, whether you start... <laughs> okay. Sorry, but I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, okay? Um, but we'll see how your reading goes, but this is basically the last half of uh, December, for, uh, it's the 20th today, okay? Um, but this is Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus or Sagittarius. Please, if you are subscribed or you find this, Please hit the bell. I've got many um, updates that are going to be coming up, but you'll need to probably follow the bell in order to um, to to um, to see when I update things. Okay, because I also do other videos as well that I'm going to do today, which will be on the camera, but that'll be later. Okay, so um, let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's go. Wow, I had this feeling this was going to come out. <laughs> Love in you. It was actually under the deck before I'd shuffled, pre-shuffled, and then before I came on the camera, I looked, and it was that, and then I've shuffled again, and you've got that again. Okay. So this is kind of like um, freedom. This is self-love, self-provocation, self-reliance, um, setting yourself free, basically. Setting yourself free, basically maybe because an offer of love was, was dropped, but you've found your own heart through this. Heart... I just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. Okay, but that's freeing energy. I mean, that could be someone that's offering, you or them are offering your heart to set someone free. Okay, but let's have a look. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Wow, okay, so someone definitely, <laughs> someone has walked away. So there's blood on the wire, there's blood spilled. So this is past life to me as well. Okay. Um, well, okay, someone could have passed. Someone could have passed on. But, I don't want to pick that up, but if they have, I do apologise. Um, but this is um, fighting energy. This is kind of like blood. Okay, and this is like water. And then you're kind of like someone's left looking into a cup while someone's actually gone. You know, they're actually gone. So you could have been ghosted, or someone could have ghosted you because you're of the white. So so like an Aries maybe in their chart has ghosted you, and you're kind of like left wondering, well, what the fuck? You know, uh, a lot of fighting, maybe drinking wine or drinking anything. Okay, things are spilt, but you still are concentrated on things that have been built up. But you're actually staring into a cup of somebody that's actually left. So that's more of a ghosting energy to me. Okay. So you've probably found self-love through it, but we'll see through the clarifying cards. But um, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And this can also play out within your chart too. Also within your chart, you need to look up your houses and what they mean and represent. Okay, because they all represent communication or <laughs> the lovers. So you've got Gemini present. But that is happiness is a choice. Happiness between the two energies, this is self. This is self. We're talking about self. So because someone has probably ghosted you or you've ghosted them, you have found out that um, love is just an eternal feeling. It's an eternal feeling that I used to teach people 333 three, three on the clock. Please take note of the numbers. But I've always said, okay, that's... Through separation and avoidance, we learn things about ourselves all the time. Okay, all the time. Okay, um, but through this energy, this is definitely about self. So this is that you've learned more about yourself. That codependency is created by the great sacrifice of what I used to teach people about Mr. Plate. Okay, it's an abandonment feeling of being reincarnated when we are shoved into a meat suit and we come here to experience pain, choice, Gemini. Choosing, choosing ourself and self-love and dedication to ourself is the strongest connection that you can ever have is when you have it with yourself. When you have it with yourself, you can create anything. You can manifest anything, pretty much at an instant. <laughs> and I'm going cold, trust me. When I go cold on both arms, that means that I'm pretty much hitting the nail on the head. Okay? So if you did watch the videos that I do when I do motivational stuff on the camera... I was teaching people, you know, about being propelled into a, a, a cycle, but many cycles of lifetimes and patterns and figures and metaphysics and time, 
Time and space is just an illusion. Okay, It's the delusional part that we lead ourselves through the hallway of mirrors that push us further into the deeper into the further in order to learn you know I mean I have a life path number of seven so the seven of cups is very prominent that I'm going to talk to people about later okay but it's the darkness that needs ridiculing from past life attachment okay through this process is when I started to realize that I was clairvoyant okay just one of the processes but I started to realize about connection and that the strongest connection that you can ever have is with yourself with yourself when you have that you have everything because you have yourself <laughs> if you didn't have yourself where would you be lost in time right so let's have a look Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising or Venus Sun Moon Rising or Venus I mean at the moment this is fantastic okay so yeah forming a quality and balance forming a quality yeah definitely because I'm going fucking freezing so you're forming a quality and balance within yourself. This doesn't mean a two-party thing. This just kind of means finding universal balance. Okay, different decks. It means the impeachment is different, but this means that you're balancing out your self of your feelings, your emotions. Okay, you've walked away from something and you've just left people kind of like staring into, or someone has. Okay, but through that, it's a it's a reflection outwardly where they've learned and you've learned too. Well, we all learn through karma. Some people do, some people don't. Two could be two water signs, two fish in a bowl. Because we're just two lost souls swimming in a fish bowl. Year after year. Running over the same old ground. But how we found the same old field. <laughs> I wish you were here. But, so that'll probably be your song. Please check out the songs in the description. But you have a stable water sign and an emotional water sign here. You have two. This could be just be tipping away the past emotion and purging out, which is very important, in which you'll see that I do quite a lot. We need to purge out emotions and let people know where we are karmically in order to realise that I've purged that out, I've dropped it, bosh, 7-7 seven, seven on the clock, 0707. I've boshed that one out, that one is that. Push the energy, absorb it, transmute it, well, Pisces, but <laughs> transmute the energy, feel it, grow it, push back. Give it back to the universe, the universal energy of coming back, leading the pack. That is how you become an emperor. Very important. Okay, But that's how you do it. But that is tipping away the past and concentrating more on the further, on the further, deeper into the further. So you are learning about darkness. So darkness is love is just a feeling created by the darkness. It's always to teach people and it's also a song by the darkness, funny enough. But finding stability within yourself too or another water sign. Or you have water in your chart, or they do, or that did, or there's a, there's a combination of water and air, and earth, but no prominent signs apart from Gemini, which is still happiness is a choice. Um, let's see, um, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Well, this is a lot of work. You know, some well, someone has. This can be you or them. You know, don't lead yourself into illusion. We don't want the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so someone's dropped an offer. Someone, someone's dropped an offer, pretty much. Okay, so this is kind of like, well, all I'm left is with illusion, which is the lizard or the chameleon. Okay, come a come a come a chameleon. So basically means that um, I've dropped an offer because all I've been left with is an illusion, which is once bitten, twice shy. Okay, lizards. I don't know if they do um, bite. I don't know because the hand kind of looks like ouch. Okay, this is once bitten, once bitten, but twice shy. I took my chances, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? <laughs> Gemini, right? Okay, so Christmas. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. There you go. <laughs> so last Christmas, you could have offered someone your heart, or they could have done. Okay. Don't do that, or the fact that it's just Christmas time. Um, let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sagittarius. I mean, I've got Sagittarius. <laughs> there you go, you're in your own thing. I've got uh, Sagittarius very prominent in mind. See, people people would see me as Sagittarius, okay, because I have Neptune, Sagittarius, in the second house. Second house. 
So that's how people, uh, it's a lot to do with money and things like that, but it also depends on your chart. But people see me very much so as a Sagittarius because that's how people would see you within the world also within your karma. But, you know, also being Pisces, I, I very much absorb the, uh, the, the traits of the Sagittarius. Why the fuck would you not? <laughs> you know, you have to have great connection with yourself and that's why it relates to the Queen in order to um, transmute that energy and give it back, you know, and have great vision and clarity with themselves in order to give it back and wisdom. Great connection with the Akashic Records, great connection with themselves, great fire and passion, universal balance. Could have water in your chart also, okay? Um, which is water, fire, which is, uh, I always class this as, Earth angel, earth angel, please be mine. Back to the future, right? So this is kind of like uh, fire under my wings. You got some songs coming out. What was that? Um, God, it's a guy out of Roadhouse, right? <coughs> uh, Patrick Swayze. Um, but the Empress, so that's the Earth Mother. So that's um, kind of like I always represent that as in uh, Lady uh, Lady Diana in Britain. Okay, but the Earth Mother. Okay, but you also have soulmates because of the Swan. Swans represent that once one. Soulmate is gone, the other soulmate will wait around in order for the other soulmate to return. So you could be waiting, okay, but that's really not what you want to do because there's a walking away. Okay, so it probably it's telling me that um you probably realised that one soulmate wasn't the one and that you're waiting for the other one or the right one. Okay, but when you find yourself, then yourself finds yourself. It's reflection. Okay, also reflection also means Twin flame, soulmate kind of energy, but trust me, it's all karma. You just have to go with the flow of it. It's about learning lessons about yourself. That's what it's about. People get lost in the fucking translation of themselves, and then your shit all goes out of whack, and you've got no idea where you are. And you can't give or receive, and you just remain blocked. But this is not a blocking energy. This is a very positive energy. Because you have, I always represent that as drops of Jupiter. This is like a reward, the Empress. It's kind of like, there's my riches. This is what I have, this is what I am, this is me, so here I am showing myself as myself, okay, the universal energy of one, okay, pretty much, but it's caring, nurturing, giving, um, someone could have walked out on that kind of opportunity, okay, uh, you could meet Sagittarius, or you have that in your chart, Gemini Sagittarius within your chart, um, but that just there means um, guidance, within yourself, that you've found yourself and that you are becoming more empowered and that you are manifesting or you're listening to someone that is very influential, that's creating balance, it's creating universal balance and you are manifesting in many directions within this centered part through separation and avoidance. Separation and avoidance, you can't argue with stupid people, if they're stupid it's because they're stupid you can't give a negative reaction to a negative reaction no matter who you are because you will learn a great lesson about dropping defences. You can't feel defensive in life, you have to drop the burden, but you have one wand in order to probably shove it up someone's chocolate. Oh, that is probably not the right direction. You have to learn your lesson in order to realise that you're just standing there alone in order to feel well, where am I going to take this next action. The next action... Okay, so this all really does depend, but it's a 10, it's an ending, so you've created an ending somehow, could have something to do with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or within their chart, or yours. So, let's go on to the next deck, but at the moment, this is a very good reading, but that could mean continuing to carry a burden after. Um, but that could just mean Christmas, that things are stressful, people running around, you know, you could have... Children that have uh, Gemini or Sagittarius within their chart also. Um, Seven of Swords has popped out, but I'm not clarifying anything. So there could have been sneaky behavior, people stealing, or a return. The return, you see the Seven of... It's also a Seven of my life path number, but that also means a Seven means uh, stealing energy, but also returning energy, okay? It's, it's something where people set their traps, but you set it yourself, but it always returns in order for another lesson, pretty much. You know, because it's about self-deceit, it means that I've not learned enough, so I probably need to learn again. So my vibration's low, so I need to learn another lesson again, pretty much. So the, the past comes back in order to revisit your low vibration if you do not raise your vibration and find self-love. 
Whew. See, picking up, it's, you use that Sagittarian energy. You have to fucking have fire and passion, man. You have to have fucking vision. Have to. So let's have a look. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, payday. So let's have a look at what we've got this major color. The Empress. Let's have a look at the Empress. What's the Empress talking about? The Empress. The Empress. Wow, Sword of Truth. So the sword, the truth has set you free and you're also showing up Sagittarian energy okay but um, the ace of swords is the sword of truth so you've probably received the truth by someone walking away and you've now found yourself completely okay something's happened okay and it taught it, it taught a lesson to them and you basically you both learn through this because there's two people in this one's still standing I'm still standing after all this time but one's walked away and kind of said, well, you know, fuck it, this is just not really getting anybody anywhere. So what we need to do is find ourselves again. Pull yourself together. Align yourself within your seven chakras of the universal energy of yourself. The eight chakra is universal energy. You align yourself with your vibration. You take your soul out of yourself and give yourself a slap to realize where you are. Put yourself back in yourself and you'll find yourself clear. Clear communication. Okay, so um, you could have heard some, you could have spoken the truth or you heard a truth. Okay, but this is you not, this is being crowned, being crowned, right? Being crowned. So, yeah, well, so you've been crowned queen. <laughs> Somebody has. So let's have a look. Or king, it, it, I mean, it's just a woman, but it can be fucking male, female meat suit orientation of anything really just universal universal speaking the doors right um ace let's have a look further deeper into the further of the ace of swords what can you tell me further what the ace of swords is about please the ace of swords can it be can be very cutting but it's wise it's a double-edged sword it's what cut lucifer away which is capricorn but well, to me, but it, it you know, um, it's the cutting truth. You know, the sword of truth is the the archangel Michael guidance, spiritual guidance. So your guide, well, it, it, you know, is protected. So part of your spirit guide can be um, archangel Michael, but the sword was used in order to cut away Lucifer, right? Yeah. So the seed of intent is planted within. Sorry, but that's Leo's uh, thing just rendered. But the seed of intent, it could have something to do with Aquarius. I represent this to Aquarius, but this is the thought. Okay, so this is a thought of a new direction. You plant it within the seed of your high vibration of your stomach. Your stomach is called your intuition. When your intuition grows, the seed grows into a planted vantation of the ace or any representation of maybe seven. Okay, but this is Aquarius to me. So the, plant, the seed of intent is the higher part of the intent okay it starts off through the thought process of aligning your thoughts and your feelings like Gemini okay you align yourself you pull yourself together and then the seed goes down into an intent and it's implanted into a field where the field then starts to flourish and grow okay so the truth sets you free Sooth <laughs> truth sets you free um, so let's have a look at um, temperance 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 See, bird, freedom, freedom. Yeah, in this deck. Uh, temperance. Temperance, temperance. I think this is more of a self-reading, Sag. You know, you've got to have a great connection with yourself. Because <laughs> what's the fucking point, right? <clears throat> what is the point if you don't know yourself? It means that you're connected to someone else, Right? Where are you? Are we really here? Check that one out. Am I really here? Also, please, if you are subscribed and you hit the bell, I start to add things onto the community where I have great connection with the universal energy of music. And that's why I add them all into everything. It's all incorporated within having great connections with yourself. <laughs> Sagittarian energy. When you get that, you're clear, clear, clear conscience, clear mind, clear sentient, clear audience. Their vision, one vision. Then you find wish fulfillment. 
Okay, you find your own wish fulfillment. So this could have been a Sagittarius that was greedy, or you found out someone that was greedy. It can be you or them. Okay, you could have that in your chart, and you're realizing about gluttony, greed, which is a part of the seven deadly sins, is what I teach about. But it's a nine. It's a cry for help. It's a cry for help internally about my emotions and my feelings. Okay, this could be overindulgent within anything: drinking, drugs, alcohol. Okay. Giving, taking energy vampires, energy thieves, taking energy, filling them up, feeling glutton, greed, and war, and everything that it's caused within the Seven of Cups, uh, nine, okay? But it seems to me like it's balancing out those cups through the fire and passion that you've found within yourself again, and that you are now finding wish fulfillment within yourself. Yeah. Could have something to do, and you found karmic justice, could have something to do with the Libra. Finding balance and scale within yourself, which is fucking great. Um, so let's have a look. I want to. I do want to see what the Seven of Cups is about because that I, I don't like that card, but the card does represent wish fulfillment. So you could be meeting a Sagittarius, okay, or a water sign. Um, wow, wow, straight up manifesto. <laughs> wow, yeah, great, fucking brilliant. So I'm feeling this energy very much. So. Um, so manifesting, okay. Everything's under control. You've found control of yourself. You've pulled yourself together. You've given yourself many slaps over many timelines in order to wake the fuck up and realize everything is about yourself completely, not selfish, okay. When you start to give back and you form balance and the scales, okay, you form equality. When you form equality, you give it back to people in order to form equality and growth and learning for everybody else to learn from you as an angel, earth angel, guide, light worker. You know, all the kind of um, labels that are attached to someone that has great care and giving nurturing of the warmth of their light. When the warmth of their light is felt, it means that they are also the earth mother because they are very motivational, but they are also very caring and giving, and they actually give a shit, <laughs> because that's what we are here for. We are here in order to light ascension. We ascend, and then we just ascend again, but we all strive and fight for a chance to ascend, but it depends on choice of whether you want to, whether you want to go backwards or whether you want to go forwards. Me, I fucking constantly go forwards and there is no stopping me. I can assure you of that. But that's what you need, you know. Because all you need is love. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> all you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Wow, I've got no idea what to put these. If I don't put the songs in, just look them up, okay? <laughs> Feeling, uh, feeling defensive, I've got no fucking idea, but that came out, flung out in reverse, so you're coming out. You're coming out, taking a stand. Um, fuck it, I don't even really need to, to carry on with this Sagittarius, because there's nothing bad here. Yeah, well, that's in reverse, and it shouldn't be, because everything should be upright. Coming out, fall, <laughs> falling out, falling out with the past, you know, coming out of heartache, coming out of betrayal, there you go, like the Ace of Cups. You've not you've learned more about emotions and stabilized your emotions within the river that it's now held. Many rivers to cross, there's no one. Okay? But um, crossing energy of coming out of that and finding self-love, self-qualification. Fucking great work, Sagittarius. Um, I'm really pleased in order to end that reading for you because you are the last sign that I have to do until I start the January where I'll do weeklies, monthlies, um, energy can change, free will overrides all pretty much well astrology pretty much overrides all but it's still free will of your free will chance to keep fighting not fighting for people but fighting for a chance to learn and grow from your mistakes is why you ascend okay so i will leave it there but please check out everything in the description there are plenty of things that you can follow also I opened up my old channel where i'm probably going to put all my motivational work over on that one at some point and that one is called How the Mind Thinks Within the Links. And that is my old channel, okay, which is also seven. <laughs> but um, I really do appreciate it. Happy Christmas. And I will see you at some point in the year, Sagittarius. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.